Tom here, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna show you how to add Stripe subscriptions to Django, and we'll add the minimal amount of code to get our Stripe subscriptions up and running, making payments for our site. Here's an example, all the flow here for my product, Photon Designer, completely used the techniques from the tutorial here to build this checkout page, so check it out. If you wanna to subscribe to check it works, please do. So the final product that we're producing looks like this. It allows users to subscribe, for users to pay through Stripe, using the Stripe checkout, and then also to manage their subscription and cancel or then renew their subscriptions as they like. Okay, let's get into it. So first up, we'll create our Django project in there. I'm creating an app called Sim. Now, as usual, we want to add Sim to the installed apps here, just like this. Add this to the top, top of our settings file. And this loads our environment variables, which we'll add shortly. Okay, now let's create our product on the Stripe dashboard, which is really nice. These are, steps are really simple to do. So let's go through and go to the Stripe dashboard. Okay, so here we are. And make sure you're on test mode, just to toggle that there. And so just type in product product like that, catalog. And now we want to add your first product. So add a product. Let's call it um, subscription. Go down and we'll leave it as recurring. Let's add, let's say it's $100,000 a month, uh, <laughs> excluding tax and then more pricing options down here. And we want to enter a lookout key. This is critical. We want to enter in standard monthly. We will use this in our code to then look up the correct price. This needs to be unique for that basis. So standard monthly, add product. So we want to add our customer portal here. So here's the customer portal, and then you click activate test link. The purpose of this, is, this is what it will look like, is to allow users to renew and manage their subscription. So really good to add. There you go, it's active. Okay, so now we want to visit the test webhook to point to your local server here. For now, all you need to do is just install the Stripe CLI. So go Stripe and then log in here if, I do it on here, Stripe login. Okay, so you've done that. And then also we want to get a endpoint secret. This is your end, endpoint secret. Yeah, leave that up for a moment and we'll use this in a second. Now we add our Stripe API keys to our environment as we mentioned earlier. So go to core and then create a file called .env inside core. Do not add this to your git, oh, paste this in. And then we will fill this out with the test keys. So just copy that in like that and then click on here to go to the developers section to get your keys. Again, make sure you're in test mode like that. And I will change my keys, make sure you keep them private. So now I want to add our models, copy this and go into models in Sim and paste this. This We will use this as our general record for all Stripe information. This is all we will use. Now run our migrations, copy these into the terminal. There we go. Let's create our subscription page. So we'll create a templates folder in Sim, templates, and then we want to create a file inside the templates folder called subscribe.html and copy this in. Now we want to create another file, another template in the templates folder called success. That this HTML in like that, repeat the process and add a cancel.html and copy that from the cancel in. Moving on, next section, let's add the endpoints on our app that Stripe will call. So copy and paste in there. Now I'll just talk you through the various views. So this is subscribe. This renders the subscribe page that we pasted in earlier here. This crucially has this, the lookup key here that we entered earlier to link to the Stripe price, which is a specific entity. This creates the checkout session, which creates a checkout page that we can then send the user to to do the subscription. And then this is the other part, the collect Stripe webhook. This is gonna be an endpoint on our server that Stripe is then gonna call. After the user does something on Stripe, it then sends a verified message to our server that will check. Okay, so let's continue. Let's wire it up. So add our URLs, core URLs, paste this over the top. And then we need to create a URLs file in sim, urls.py, and then paste in these various routes. These are all the routes to our views that we mentioned. And there you are. Should be, should be explanatory. Let's run the server. Python manage.py run server, run server, and okay, here we are, and now we will go, go to subscribe. Great, logged in as Alex G, that's our anonymous user here. Check out, and we're forwarded to our monthly tennis ball subscription. As you can see, very nice responsive. It also picks up that I've got Google Pay and we'll enter an email, t at t.com, 424242. Fine, subscribe with obligation to pay. Great, and then you can see it's forwarded us back to the, the success page, which is here. And now we can click manage our billing information. And there we go, we have forwarded customer portal. And then we can cancel the plan if we'd like. 
and then we can also renew it after we've cancelled it. We've set it up correctly so far, but we're not done because we need to get that webhook from Stripe. Stripe, after it's taken the details, needs to verify to us that the payment has gone through and so on. Run So run Stripe login and do follow the easy steps there and install the CLI if you haven't. And then we're going to set the webhook to automatically forward events to our local server. Because our local server is running on our local computer, Stripe on the internet can connect to and send webhook testing. And this is our endpoint here that Stripe will send a webhook to. A webhook is just a request from a third party. Now we'll create a different terminal here. Keep it running, manage it behind this one, and then just copy this. Run. Great, that's looking good. Okay, and now we can then go through the same flow. Let's go back to the same flow, localhost 800, and then go to our subscribe page. So check out, 4.3. And now watching this, there you go. Good, 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 good. You should see these 200s, and you can see these are lots of different events. Stripe is sending multiple posts to our webhook over here. Based on the event time, we then update using the Stripe data to update our checkout record and then also grant the person access. And like I said, I'm using this on my product Photon Designer, which is a way to generate UI really, really quickly. Here's one that was quite nice that was generated just for those, those prompts. But if we go to the pricing page, this is exactly what I'm using here underneath the same Stripe checkout. If you want to check out my product and generate some Django UI for your products extremely quickly, go to photondesigner.com. Besides that, I'm making loads of Django content weekly, and here are a few more videos.